Another year's gone by I'm so glad you're with me The way you lift me up With the love you give me It's good to know that you'll be Mine when days are blue Welcome to the Orange is the New Black podcast. We are at Season 7, Episode 10, the 13th. 13th. The f- <laughs> well, that's not a great story. Already screwed up. The 13th. I'm Rob Southgate, who apparently can't read. Yeah, I'm Martha Southgate. And Martha, can you read us the description from Netflix? Yeah, while Piper reconnects with faces from her past, Alex revisits her own romantic history, Linda puts Tamika on notice, and Caputo owns up to his misdeeds. Yes, he did. Pretty concise. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's... There's a lot more that there's happened. There's a dead but, chicken. But, uh, two, yeah, there's yeah. dead chicken. And um, uh, the Caputo thing, absolutely. All right, so, let's start with Lorna. Yeah, so the last episode ended with Lorna in that fugue state, and we saw her go outside, and we didn't know... Where she went. What went on there? And we still don't know. And we didn't know if she even was going outside or if she right. that was just what she was seeing. But she did. She locked herself in the chicken coop. Right. She went outside and went to the chicken coop. And that's where they found her. The, uh, <laughs> the guards are not really equipped for this kind of thing. They, like, it was Dixon, like the Keystone Cops. Oh, my gosh. Dixon is, like, ready to tase. Uh, they're all, like, oh, they almost terrified. shot her. He almost shot her. No, that was a taser. Well, before that, he thinks she said he had a gun. But they're all. But she's in there, and they're like, "What you doing? What you doing?" It's like they, you, when they looked through, you could see she's, she's just cowering. There, like, but he said she had a weapon. But she did. No, but he said she right. did. Well, because she had a chicken. Because he's scared. Well, he was having post traumatic stress from because well, we find he that was out triggered. Later. Yeah, yes. because of the riot. But so they're, they're he was just, having a, a flashback. Yeah, and they're not equipped for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ward was kind of like, what's going on? So, but she was the one with the level head, of course. And she's going, okay, we need to get her out of there. Mm-hmm. You know, let's open the door. And they're all like freaking out. And they open the door and Dixon freaks and tases her. Yes. Now, you brought the chicken up. Yeah, because he tasing, fried the chicken. The tasing fried the chicken, yes. right? Because they so, said it smelled even like. But later chicken. on, when they when they found the chicken, yeah. that was a different chicken. No, they that just the left chicken. the chicken there. Then how did they find another chicken? Well, another chicken died from un- undisclosed causes. How about that, it just happened. Maybe there is a murderous chicken on the loose. <laughs> um, but <laughs> there is another. There was another death. There was another chicken another death. Chicken side. But the chicken, the first chicken. Was killed when they tasered Lorna. This show is slowly becoming Mindhunter, but... A chicken. It's about chickens. Yeah. Starring Suzanne, Suzanne and Lolly. Lolly. And I'm all on. I'm, <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all on board. I will watch that I would show. watch their spinoff show. Yes. And uh, I'd as be... As long a... as they occasionally time travel in Lolly's box. And she and... writes... And she goes back to writing Time Hump. Time Hump Mysteries. Yeah, This would be a new... Venture yeah, for her. that would be good. It would be like Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> Chicken side, she wrote. Yeah. So can we, let's finish up. Okay, but then McCullough was upset, and she was really upset that Hellman didn't follow protocol. Or that, like, no, she was like, no, we didn't follow protocol. And he was like, yeah, too bad, whatever. We did what we needed, and it's over. And she was not okay with no. that. Well, we've seen her backstory. We know they steamroll her over yes. her. They they don't listen. And even though he wasn't being like those guys in her flashback, or like some of the other CEOs have treated her, mm-hmm. she's done. She's they're all a mess. Yeah, Dixon's a mess. Yes, she's a mess. Yes, uh, uh, Hopper's a mess. Even though he's a mess, yes. he's just a mess. Yes, uh, it's it's all. And they're back to the way the the guards were at Litchfield originally, because when they first went down here, 
they were the guards were a little different but they're all starting to become like the guards acted at litchfield where it's like they're more involved with the inmates mm-hmm. things are a little bit they're they're less hard-nosed about stuff because they're all but they're all wrecks. freaking doing it yeah you've got okay so we got Ho- hopper is working with alita you've got loose check working with with okay but da- daya loose check has you've always got been. no, but that's my point. You've got Hellman doing God knows what. Hellman's he's, the worst. Yeah, he's awful, and he's working. He's doing stuff and bringing stuff in. Then you've got uh, McCullough working with Alex, bringing in the phone chargers. Yeah, I mean they're literally just yeah corrupt. Alvarez is not doing anything. He is managing the chickens. That's Alvarez it. is doing a very good job. <laughs> He is. He's been because you know what? He is good. He's, he's got Suzanne and Lolly, and he's nice to them. And I love of, that he has that. He's kind of the best CO they have. Yeah, which is sad, but he's. Which but is he funny, is very but, sweet with them. Well, and I he, will say that he just does his job. <laughs> but the rest. So I guess I don't know what order uh, this kind of sh- this particular episode is all over the place so it's a little harder and a lot of the stories intertwine it, yeah it's really it's going to be a little harder together. for me to just go oh okay let's talk about alex because if we talk about alex she's the flashback right plus she's with mccullough doing god knows what plus she's with she's got the whole piper so let's get her out of the way let's well, do actually, alex actually before we do that can we just wrap up dixon really quickly go for it because we did mention oh so then we got to go to the to the class but but only about dixon we'll get we'll do the whole class right. thing later but go for dixon it. so you have caputo's class later in the episode it's the um it's the restore restorative restorative one. justice yeah and they're doing this this exercise where they have to confront they're role-playing they're role-playing but it's it's the the inmate is either they're having a letter read to them from a victim of theirs or another inmate is describing an issue. Yes. And this is really working. Yeah. Um, it's uncomfortable, but it's working. And and Dixon confronts Ruiz. And at first, Caputo's like, yeah, that's that's not how this works. And, you know, I'd kind of forgotten how what had happened to him. Well, what, and, okay, but first... It, the reason he confronted her was because she was role playing with Beth and Beth was apologizing to her children. Ruiz was standing in for her children. Right. And Beth was apologizing for drowning them. Right. And Ruiz said, well, she shouldn't be forgiven. She should be separated. She shouldn't be with us. Right. In general population. Right. She's not safe. And, and Dixon stepped in and said, Oh, wait a second. Why are you, judging her how right. are you any better than her after what you did to me right and caputo was like oh this is inappropriate yeah and he's it's like, only inmates no 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 and then, she hurt me right badly well, and where we said no this is i want to do this yeah that was a great scene yeah dixon like we saw he's having ptsd from this. yes he's very damaged from it he's upset with ruiz but it was really by the end i mean he felt reconciled. Well, hang on. Let me tell what. Yeah, go so ahead. So Caputo. It, to me, it was just a wonderful scene. Caputo mediated yeah. between the two of them. And he, she had to sit there while he said, you held me hostage and you tortured and humiliated me. And I can't sleep. And, you know, I mean, he was still suffering so much. Right. And then she. um. Beth came up to him and said, do you want a hug? Which was awkward. <laughs> and and he was so funny, awkwardly, said no, like thinking, oh, my God, you're a freaking murderer. You're and, then, and then he went, well, actually, I really could use a hug. <laughs> and so she hugged him. And then he called Ruiz over and made her hug which, with Beth. Which was amazing. That was fantastic. The body language. Yeah, on, it was so Ruiz. funny. <laughs> she went stiff. Like, I think she was fine with hugging Dixon. But the bad thing, she's like, ew, yeah, seriously, like, no, this is not <laughs> like, happening. Like, but she did. She did it. She sort of did it. But it was a it. great little yes. moment. Yes. So I wanted. I'm glad we got that out of the way, and we'll we'll come back to what happened because there's more that happens in here uh, when we talk about Caputo's story. But you wanted to talk about Alex. I think we should do Alex's 
well, that flashback. Yeah, the flash, the flashback. Actually, actually, I agree that we should do it because even though it was very telling, it wasn't revelatory. No. Like some of the other ones, you go like, "Oh, I got insight." This yeah. one, it's like as soon as of it course started, she's with a dysfunctional person. Yeah, it shows Alex. And of course, she's with her running friend, away and Sylvie, who's up. drunk. And well, she's an alcoholic. She's an alcoholic. But in that and, scene, she was falling down drunk. Right. And she drops her phone on the tracks and then jumps down to get it. It's like, in the subway yeah, as the train's in coming. In the subway. And, and she's not killed or anything, but that's when she realizes, like, I really need help. And Alex is, like, trying to swoop in. And the whole time that flashback was happening, I was thinking about these flashbacks. Yeah, I was thinking about how they're usually not so obvious. Yet in this case, I knew exactly what this what this flashback was yeah. going to be telling us and what we were seeing. Alex is attracted to damage. Yes. That's why she liked Piper. We knew that from the beginning. Mm-hmm. She seems all put together and everything, but she's all in when she's wearing the big Supergirl cape. Yeah. And she's in charge. Yes. You know? So when when Sylvie got sober um uh alex had set up a dinner with her but didn't tell her right and sylvia was like no I'm, i've got plans i'm going out with my sponsor and my aa friends and alex was jealous and right. she said well come with like we're not excluding you it's just that you didn't tell me we had plans right. and and i'm trying to assimilate in this new life right and, i'm doing what you want uh, yeah exactly and so when they go she ends up going out with them and is and is no 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 she didn't, I'm go sorry, out. She, didn't. she went she out went with out her with the, other friends yeah. and and she was like making fun of the sylvie situation yes. and that's what she met Piper. like oh i'm gonna drink i'm gonna do yeah. this and it was like so in other words she's she's making herself better and you're gonna take a crap on it and then she sees piper and immediately you can tell from across the room that piper is damaged goods <laughs> like like with when later on, after she hooks up with Piper yeah. and Sylvie comes home and she's furious. And she punches and she, her. She punches her and you see Piper outside, no shoes on, like right. looking around like, oh, you're like, yeah. oh my God. That's like why. she can't find her way out of a paper bag. No, that girl. Especially at that point. Yeah. And that's why Alex is like, yeah, that one's that's damaged. That's the one I like. Yep. Yeah. So she, um, so yeah, she, she obviously dumped. Sylvie and went off with Piper. Or Sylvie dumped her. Or Sylvie dumped I hope Sylvie dumped I think her. Sylvie dumped her. Um, and then, so in the meantime, Alex, um, I'm not going to go into Alex's full story. I mean, Piper's full storyline yet. Right. But um, Piper is, uh, Alex is, is looking up Zelda on Facebook and everything. And she's watching these videos and she's getting more and more jealous yep. and realizing Piper has this whole life. She's doing yoga. They're having, you know, coffee and doing right. all these things. And, and Alex she is told stuck her in there. To go out and yeah. find somebody and do your thing. She is not okay with it. No. And so Alex is um, but it's, making herself feel better with McCullough. Right. Now, I don't know if she's jealous of it that you're having, you're, you're connecting with people as much as she's jealous that, like, I'm stuck in here. Now you're living this life. She's living the life. And it's like, wait a minute. I fully believe it's she's jealous that she's living that right. life. Yeah. I think that's what's going on, too. And Alex can't compete right. with that. So here's Alex fully embracing Just this McCullough thing. Into and, the McCullough thing. And guess what? McCullough's damaged. McCullough is so damaged. And so she's got PTSD from the riot, and she's injuring herself again after what happened yep. with Lorna. As soon as she said that, when she showed that she had the, yeah. the cigarette burns. You burnt, knew Alex and was going to be like, all over I thought over you stopped. That. I thought, yeah. Alex is going to get deeper in with her yeah. because she's she's hurting herself. And unfortunately, and she's Alex is not going to help her. Alex is going to drag her down further or keep her sick because yep. she's going to need her to be right. to be unwell. Right. In order for Alex right. to feel what she Yeah, they're not to going feel. to walk out of here a couple when Alex finally gets out of prison because she's going to make her more and more damaged goods. Mm-hmm. It's it's sad. It sucks. And the thing is, I I think that Alex needs counseling to get over that. I think Alex genuinely is smart and is genuinely like getting into the relationships thinking that it's a real relationship. She's unaware that she needs this damaged goods thing. I really do think that. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about Loose Check. So he's now teaching the GED class. He's yeah, because... substituting, and he's not teaching it. He's just sitting there, and they're watching videos. And I love the one, um, Zirconia. Yeah. Is that her name? Zirconia, yeah. Cubic Zirconia? Yes. Okay. She um, is sitting there, like, totally in it. She's like, no, no, I'm re- learning history. Yeah, I this love is history. This. I'm digging this. Yeah. And, and Doggett is really upset, though, because Doggett's they're like, not learning, and she won't be ready for the GED and test. And she's like, yeah, we've got the GED test. And, and Luce Chick's like, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. He's the worst. Yeah. He's so the- they go, they end up going to Tasty. They find her, that her with when Doggett. When I say he's the worst, he's not the worst. Like, Hellman is the worst. No. Hellman's an abusive jerk. Luce Chick is, is just morally. He's just de- a low-level criminal. He's morally bankrupt. He's morally bankrupt. So Zirconia and Creech end up going to find Doggett and Tasty when they're tutoring together. Yes. And they beg Tasty to let them in. This was a great in. little scene, too. Yeah, I love that. Now, what's funny is, didn't, did she only imply that she should be tutoring? Or was there, am I remembering this wrong, that there was something where Ward was kind of asking her to teach the GED? I don't know about that. Okay, because she should totally be teaching the GED class. Right, but I don't know. Will they let an inmate teach it? Oh, and she if she doesn't have a, a teaching. Right. Although they're letting loose check. So Yeah, but I don't I, yeah, don't, I don't know, know if they can let, let an inmate. inmate. But I bet Although they could. Yoga Jones used to get to teach yoga. Right. And why couldn't they have if they're worried about that since she's a lifer, why couldn't they have loose check sit in there while she teaches it? Yeah. She's being monitored. Yeah. So hopefully so that's hopefully where it's going. something will happen. So so now she's t- now she's tutoring Doggett, Zirconia, and Creech. Alita comes in and makes fun of them, and she's telling them, "Oh, you're you trying to get a GED? What's that going to do for you? You're like, you need to be dealing drugs and living my life, you know." Yeah. And and they actually, I loved that Creech shut her down. Yeah. And was like, "You're not someone to emulate." And. That was awesome. And and then you see Alita later all by herself. Well, you know what it's Because we showing... thought she was getting hand before. Right. But what you're seeing is she was getting hand. Where she's losing it is because of Ward's programs. She's playing the old school. We keep everybody hooked on things. We keep people dumb. We, you know, I, I'm playing kingpin and everything. And because Ward is doing these things that are positive for him, the chickens, the GED classes, the fact that Zirconia is in there like, I really dig history. This is cool. Yeah. Like, And she said, we can't correct things if we don't know what happened first. Exactly. It's like, okay, she fully embraces why history is important, mm-hmm. why understanding history is important. That is a huge step for yes. her. Yes. And it's all because Ward has put these programs in place. Right, which Linda is which, pissed about and, but, it, but and Alita is threatening is, her job. Alita's playing some old school game that she's losing. She's now. losing badly to yeah. Daya. And uh but Linda is threatening Ward's job. Oh my gosh. Because Linda. of these because of these programs. Yeah. But you know what? She's she's not costing her costing her any money. Hopefully she'll let her keep it. Well that was just it. Ward Ward just her argument back was it's actually saving you money. Yeah. So be as weird as you want. It's saving you money. And Linda's like, until it doesn't save me money, you're fine. But the second it costs me a dime, you're in trouble. Yeah, because that's all she cares about. I I don't know. As we're barreling to the end of this series, I don't know if we're going to have resolution. Like, will Linda, will that company fall apart? Right. Will Well, a lot of our prisons right now in our reality are going away from the private um, from being privatized. From being privatized. So, um, you know, maybe that's what they'll do at the end. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right. So Daya then we see later, um, she's she's got her whole group, her crew around her, and Alita is completely by herself. But that Annalisa's trouble. Yeah. And she's Oh, she's trying to play. She's playing both. She was sides. daddy's yeah. friend and now she and she got usurped by Daya, so now she's trying to get revenge on Daya. She's trying to get that play going. And she told her that Daya has the new pipeline. Right. And I don't know if she told... She didn't tell her it was loose no, check, though. she didn't tell her what it was. But She just said she's got a new pipeline. But, um... and She, they're might, gonna, have, she might have said it was loose check, but that's irrelevant right now. And loose check freaking said he'd put it, the drugs up his butt. 
So he, he didn't was just like, say he'd do it. He offered that. Yeah, up. he volunteered. He's, He's like, like, oh, oh yeah. no, we'll bring in the good stuff, and then I'll just shove it up my butt. And she's like, oh, well. All right, then we could bring pills then because yeah, like she like, was doing okay. fentanyl. He's like, no one's gonna believe me if I bring books in here. <laughs> right. He's like, I'm not I'll bringing just, a book in here. I have no problem. Just put it right up my butt. <laughs> oh my god, loose check. Oh, He's so crazy. Well, he is not going to end up with Gloria <laughs> after this. I I think that dream of his oh no is going to fall that ship apart. has sailed yes yeah. even though he's gonna there's gonna be one more reference to it i'm sure by the end of the season uh i can't <laughs> there's no way she's got like positivity like going yeah. upward yeah and he's just no trash ward caputo fig and ward's boyfriend i'm not sure what his name is yeah i don't know his are name. all having dinner yes and caputo Decides that's the moment he needs to own everything. Oh, well, first and resign. He says it as they're walking in. I have to resign. And Fig's like, "What? Oh, like, not right now. We're having dinner." Right Jack now, asks. they go yeah. in, and he can barely sit down before he's like, "I'm yeah. going to resign." Yeah. But then he comes clean about the whole thing. I really liked that he recognized all of this, yes. and he woke well, he, up. He really recognized it because because of, of the res- restorative, restorative job. Yeah. Yes, because he had to role play somebody. And he, he was like, no, you're not hearing them. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is hear them and you'll know you were wrong. Yeah. And he, as he's doing this, you could see he immediately had recognition here. He was taking it and he was like, oh. So then when he said this, you're like, yeah, of course, because he knows he was wrong. Before he was fighting it because he was like, no, no, in my heart, I didn't believe this. Mm-hmm. Forget your heart. What does it look like from the victim standpoint? Yep. You did it. And Ward said, you're so good. Like, you should be commended. You're, right. And he, and then he said this happened, and she's like, you have no choice. You have to resign. Yeah, you have to resign. And she was devastated because she, he was the reason that so much of what she was doing was successful. Right. Ugh. But he has to get but out of there. But he has to own up for what he did in his past. Yeah. Um. All right. We've got and, Rhett. And, and he could get resolution from this. Like, and now that he's owning it, you know, there could be resolution that, that comes around for Caputo, you know, but I, I love that he owned it. I love that he, he said it the right way too. Yeah. The whole thing was done really well. So red, red, red got cut, cut her hand. Yep. She was very forgetful again in the kitchen. Then she cut her hand and Nikki got her to the nurse right. and, and told them, told, told the nurse, um, there's something else going on here. Right. Tried to, tried to get it through. And, and Red was, was like, like, no, 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 yeah. no. But that nurse listened. Yeah. So they did a neurological exam and yep. then they called Red in. No, Nikki in. Nikki, I'm sorry. Red they was called Nikki in, in. I know who I know who I meant. Yeah, yeah. I meant Nikki. They called Nikki in and Red said, uh, Red had told the doctor when they said, do you have someone that you trust that you can? And she said, you bring me Nikki. And, right. oh, my God, that was so touching. And they both were crying. What a scene. And it Red turns out she has her. the. Nikki standing behind her. And they just, just give sobbing. the diagnosis. Yeah. And Nikki's face, like, she's just like, I mean, this is her mom. Yeah, this is, they, she has early onset dementia. Yes. And. Um, it was brought on by head injury. Yes. And by the time in the shoe. Yes. And or at least they think that's what exacerbated the situation, which we know it did. Right. And Nikki is just devastated. And she also is feeling that she betrayed her friend, mm-hmm. even though this is going to help her friend. Yeah, she did not. Yeah. Right. And um so uh what else is going on in the kitchen? Okay, so we have that the one woman was banging on the window. Yes. And she doesn't speak Spanish yeah, the, or the, English, so no one knows what she's saying. Yeah, one of the detainees is banging So they it. brought her in to cook. Right. And she started just boiling a big pot of water and a ton of parsley, and no one knows what she's <laughs> that was doing. That red cut her hand, but... But, but it's like, Flocka, she's got to be doing something. Flocka goes, is parsley soup a thing? Oh, my God. 
And just as she said she's that. She's like, we just used it as a garnish. Yeah, that's what Red cut her hand. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so we didn't get so to So we'll see get to that. that I have a feeling that'll be in the next episode. They're going to, we're going to find out <laughs> what was the girl we can't understand speaking. Yeah, or, or, uh, what was she cooking? <laughs> when she said that, I was yeah. dying. I was like, that is the funniest yeah. thing. So um, Nikki and Sha- Shani try to be intimate, and it didn't work. Right. And yeah, it hurts her. Yes. Um, and then Nikki sees Lorna when she takes Red to the infirmary. Yes. She says, sees Lorna. And she's like, what happened? Yeah, because she, and she no, couldn't get any she answers. No yeah, idea. she couldn't get any answers. So then Lorna came back. She got out yeah. and she came back, but she's not okay. And she could barely walk and she's in bed. And Nikki said, you got to cover for me, Gloria. I can't go to the kitchen. I have to stay with her. So Nikki has become the mom. Like right. she's the mom of Red. She's the mom of Lorna. Yep. She's like the caretaker to everybody. Which, which really is what's happened. Shawnee. Red was the mom yeah. taking care of all of them. And now if she's the, in the, and, that And Nikki role. had to re- was the daughter that has to rebel. Then she's back in the fold. And now she is the the mother figure yeah. taking care of her and mother, Shani, with her elderly mother. While Nikki was gone, Shawnee got the letter saying that she is getting removed. Okay, so let's so go back to that gonna for a second. So she's going to get um, deported. Before, when Nikki didn't go back, she said, I'm failing everybody on every front. Mm-hmm. I've got my friend here. I've got Red. I've got this. And and you have to tell Shani, I'm sorry. I've mm-hmm. got to do this. But Shani got that letter. Yeah. So now, does that mean Nikki's going to come back and Shani's And Shani's gone. Gone. Probably. Right? So, more guilt. Yes. For Nikki. And not even being able to say goodbye. Yeah. Oh. She's going to be devastated. So, Nikki's got a lot of loss right now. And a lot going Man. on. Um, all right. And you think Gee. about that character's arc from the beginning. I mean, between the drugs and everything. And now she's really pulled it together. This, These are just hammering yeah. her. Yeah, it's so not I'm, good. So I'm, I'm anxious to see where things go with this. Um, all right. So should we talk about... Oh, and and Lorna told Nikki that Vinny came to see her and took the baby away and isn't coming back. So Nikki's upset because she can't figure out what's going on. I'm hoping she can call right, that she, she Vinny gets this... and find out what's going on. Right. Or use one of the phones and and check his Facebook or something that would show them that the baby died. Right. And like that. He... Yeah, because I don't know how she'd have a number for Vinny, but she could probably figure it out, figure out something. Well, she from could Facebook message him or... on Facebook or something and yeah. or do something. Because she's not getting a clear story no, at all no. from Lorna. And so I'm hoping that that happens so she could better help her by getting the truth. Yeah. Um. Uh. All right. So we've got Suzanne and Lolly. I'd like to call her Detective Suzanne. Detective Suzanne and Lolly um, are trying to figure out. Uh, I love that they named the one chicken that died was Lady Ketchatory. Lady um, <laughs> So that was a highlight for me. And Lady, but Lady Ketchatory is dead. Said it too, like oh, Lady Ketchatory. <laughs> yeah, Lady Ketchatory is dead. Um, and Suzanne knows it was murdered. It uh, was and murdered. They, they blame the thirteenth. Hence the name of the episode. Uh, so, And then I love when Suzanne says, we're going to bury it and pretend it didn't happen. And Lolly goes, this all feels so familiar. Because <laughs> they sure did that before. Yes. Okay. Uh, the other thing that happened, when, yeah. when they find the dead chicken, Lolly immediately goes in a conspiracy. Yes. Like, it was this one that shot from here. <laughs> oh, my God. like, oh, my God. So fantastic. And, of course, she was right on the 13th chicken. Yeah. She's like, I know it was you. And Suzanne's like, checks out and then doggett is trying to advise suzanne so she's talking about the chicken murder and and she just keeps putting questions and dot and uh in suzanne's head and driving suzanne crazy so she's like but what well, if but what if okay so you put her in the shoe and she's like no no it's more of a therapeutic module right. and and then doggett's like are you sure you have the right chicken and then she finds another dead chicken but what if what if it's not that chicken? Exactly. And then... And uh, Suzanne is looking at her from the top bunk, and that hair is, like, sticking up. Oh, my up, God, I and love she's it. There, and she's just like... What? And she's saying... Mind blown. Yeah, her face yeah. was like... <gasps> she's like, oh, no. What? I better have the right chicken. And, the then, right um, chicken. and then Alvarez is like, what 
do you have that chicken in? Why do you have it in such a small compartment? Right. Oh my god, so funny. Oh my gosh, um, this chicken stuff is so. We don't me. know. We didn't get any resolution on the chickens. No, there's a cereal. There's a cereal chicken. chicken there's chicken a ch- it's a new chickening, a new kind of chickening. Yes, it's a de chickening. Oh. So anyway, we've got um, we've got Piper to talk about. The Piper so, storyline is good. It's it's good, and I'll tell you why it's, it's good. good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm. I, it's not because of Piper. And it's certainly not because damn Larry. God, I hate him. But it. Ugh. But it is. But he's we gone. we got we got resolution. Yeah. Like we got Larry and. Uh, well, here let's start with why. Okay. So okay. Zelda and Piper are in that fancy. Company. The yoga place. No, they're like. Is that oh a, no, not the yoga place. They were at, at the her, consulting firm. Yes. Yeah. And that's where Zelda works. And and they were having lunch. And Piper tells her about the artisanal soap company. Right. I forgot had, about yeah, that. Yeah, I did too. That she had started. And she's like, actually, it was really getting to be successful. We were in Barney's and whatever. And Zelda tells her to contact her former co-worker, you know, yes. co-owners. And make resolution and didn't tell them it was Larry and didn't tell her it was like, right, right. an ex-husband. So then, uh, so she ends up telling her the story. She calls Larry. Now wait, I want to say this line from Zelda before she calls Larry. Do it. I, Cause I loved this because Piper says, I can't call him because of how we left things. Mm-hmm. And Zelda says, if you contact them, how you left things is no longer how you left. things." Right. And I was like, you know what? Not every breakup or leaving of things needs that resolution. But when you think back on times where maybe something ended oddly mm-hmm. or you're hesitant because you you feel like there's some residue, it's like, yeah, but you could you could resolve it. Doesn't mean it's going to be a positive resolution. Mm-hmm. It might be your chance to go back and say, you know what? I never got to say screw you mm-hmm. or let's talk and and we'll let it we'll let it be what it is mm-hmm. but i loved when zelda said that it really yeah. struck a nerve with me and i actually did this with a friend a year or so ago and i hadn't spoken to in a, in quite a few years and i wrote her and just said i just wanted you to know that i realized that i was a a judgmental jerk and and i've really worked on myself in yeah. the last couple of years and i just wanted you to know that i see w- who i was and what i was doing and i'm so sorry and and i just wanted you to know and how you and, left it changed and she wrote back and said okay i don't know what are you asking for i was like i'm not asking for anything i just wanted you to know that I'm sorry, and that I recognized it and right. fixed it. And she said, "Well, did you want to get together?" And I was like, "Oh, not unless I mean, if you did, I would, I would probably get together. But I'm not looking for friendship necessarily. But it, right. I just wanted you to know." And now we get together. We've gotten yeah. together twice, I think. I'm since still that waiting for, for my lunch. apology. It's been twenty. You're not years, getting. So. One. It's been thirty-two. <laughs> That's why you're not getting one. Um, but but it does. I mean, sometimes it works. And she was mature enough to be able to say you know well, what are you looking for or did you want to actually see each other? you know like go out like so we're like oh well we could go to lunch you know so yeah, we yeah. went to lunch and oh and we've then and so zelda was right yeah so in that situation but there are other relationships i have that i have had to leave for safety reasons yeah and you, or, know, you know for health how you reasons left it is how you left it. and it's oh done. it needs to be done because i can't let right. them back in so my it, life it doesn't mean what she said doesn't mean Everything an has abusive to end in relationship. Roses. Or it means yeah. if you left this and you feel eh, it left like, uh, well, or like you, you changed, f- like you kind of went, you know what? I was a real jerk. Like I didn't know I was being a jerk and at the she time. Had, she had some residual stuff. Well, go ahead. Just reach out to them. If they say no, you can write it off as like, you know what? I tried. Well, and that was kind of what I figured too, is I would just go, I'm just going to put it out there so she knows that, yeah, I, I see it. Yeah. And it doesn't mean it takes away what she did. It doesn't mean that that there that she doesn't have any responsibility or that I see say oh it's all my fault. But it was like oh God yeah I really noticed that yeah like really right. woke up and saw that yeah, I had I done, played a part that here, my part and... was this and I'm really sorry and I just wanted you to know that I have worked on it yeah. and and I recognize it and I don't want you to feel like and, and I blame you you know like that I thought it was all your fault. Interesting in this scene when she calls. Larry's just like, oh, hey, it's you. Polly 
obviously is like guilty and jealous. Nope. Yeah. yeah. But when they went to dinner, I think Polly was fine. I think it all kind of smoothed out in a different way. Mm -hmm. Was it a hundred percent? Are they going to hang out? No, never. Well, and Polly tells him that, that she's pregnant and they're having a son. Right. Um, Which was also why she was feeling, feeling awkward and guilty. Right. You know, because they had the affair around Piper and it's yes. like, and now uh, they have two children. Now and, look at yeah. this. But, but, but Piper doesn't care. And no. she's got Zelda. Well, and I think and, Piper learned that yeah. in the moment. Yeah. You know what? I don't care. Yeah. Cause she doesn't want to be with him. But another revelation that happened here yeah is we found out that zelda and piper are not sleeping they're together. not intimate that they're was just interesting. friends but piper would like to be and i would assume zelda they would were like to be i would i had assumed yeah. they were but it came out here that no that's not happening and piper's like no i'm married mm -hmm. but alex is treating it as if like oh yeah you're just doing whatever and it is definitely that's what's worse going that way because this is more real she's if building it was a, a relationship yes, this is there at this point it's an emotional affair yeah and it is working very close very quickly gathering momentum to be a full-fledged affair right and she's not being honest with pipe with uh, alex and she's not being honest with herself how much this how right. where, how far this is going and then she's like oh no i'm I'm married. And it's like, you're not acting married, my right. friend. Nobody's and seeing you as yeah. married. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Alex, in the meantime, was calling Piper and Piper was ignoring her phone calls. That's not married. Right. That's not, I'm in a relationship. That's I'm with Zelda and I don't want you interrupting. Right. Which that's was, an emotional affair. Was mirrored later yeah. when Piper called Alex and Alex put decline. Yeah. So their relationship is not only rocky, I think it's 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 almost on done. The rocks. Yeah, it's almost done. Um and and then uh um let's see, is there anything else? We see them at the end and they're like hugging and then uh, uh Piper I keep getting them mixed up today. Piper started smelling Zelda's hair and she's like I really am uh, you know all about this shampoo that you're using yeah. and they're kind of getting more they're and definitely more getting more intimate, intimate. Yes. and uh definitely not friend although I do I mean, okay sometimes my friends will do something like that but it, that's what, not no, smell your hair well like yeah or like oh you smell you know like they'll Who hug smells me. your hair I can't say it on here what if she's listening okay <laughs> that would be awkward nobody has smelled me you were standing right next to me. Well, <laughs> and and I we've talked about it like five times because we keep laughing about it. But if you don't remember. I don't um, remember. But that's because we are weird. You know, like that's a goofy thing. It's not a sexual thing. It's okay. just funny. But um, but it's uh, but I don't want whoever if she's listening, I want her to think that I'm calling her out that it's a weird. For being thing. weird and smelling <laughs> your hair. <laughs> not my hair. Gee, your hair smells terrific. <laughs> Oh, so she smelled drool and no. chips. She said I smelled good. <laughs> Some people think I smell good. Um, so maybe that was yours that was coming off you, and that's why you can't oh, tell what I smell. Oh, like. yeah. So um, I got some stuff going on. Yeah. So anyway, um, that was awkward. So, but but yeah, I think that in this particular case, it is definitely she's cheating at this point she's before they had an open relationship and alex was right, and she, aware of what piper was doing now she's doing it secretively and right. now this is cheating well and i don't know if piper was aware it was cheating she's aware she is aware now yeah but aware. i don't think she was aware when it started i think she really thought like no i'm just this is cool i can be friends with this person and we have a similar perspective yeah it's crossing it's, over. It's crossed. But at the same time, Alex had crossed over too. And I am not saying that, but I'm saying in, in Piper's. Right. In, Piper is. In, for Piper, she needs to tell Alex. She needs to tell Alex. Alex but you know what? Needs it to tell Piper. They're both cheating. It could have been what she was point. calling about too. Right. She may have been calling to say, this is what's going on. We don't know that. Um, and that'll be very telling going forward. If if she reveals it pretty soon here and is like, look, this is what's going on, then then Alex had had McCullough right behind Piper and didn't reveal anything. Mm -hmm. She's acting like, nope, 
Mm-hmm. No, nope. this whole season she's been like that. Yeah. So I, I think it'll be really interesting to see where that goes, and if 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 Piper has matured to a point that she can confront this, that would be a big step for the character. Yes, I agree. Compared to what we saw, she needs when to they not... were, before they first met. That Piper is yeah. a very different. She Piper. needs to tell her before she does anything further. Yes. She needs to say, I have de- I'm developing feelings for Zelda. Right. And this isn't going to be a one night stand. This and is I, not me. This is like we this is an issue. Yeah. And then and Alex I, can choose to do with that what she will. If she doesn't if she wants to make Piper feel bad and pretend it's only her while she's been cheating on her with McCullough, right. that's her choice. But I don't expect Alex to be a stand up guy. But Piper needs this redemption, I think. I agree. And I hope she, I hope she does it. Yeah, I do too. I hope it doesn't end with like we're going to see more of these collapsing relationships. And it, you may see that, but I, I think that Piper has to have redemption. And did you end. see that in every single storyline, it was all about hugging? Yes. There was, so every single person had been like it felt like. You know, we well, had the hugging, hugging was where the resolution, the redemption, or whatever happened in every one. Yeah. You know, because it was when when Dixon and Maria hugged. Right. You know, we like had um these were all big things. You had Nikki hugging. You had um. Uh, it was one. I I mean I I can't remember exactly all of them, but we said it while we were watching. We're like, Alex oh, there's another and McCullough. One. Yep. Hug during the one scene. Uh, Zelda and Piper hugged at the end. And that's yep. when she realized, oh, crap, I'm totally attracted to you. Yep. Um, and you had, um, I'm trying to think. There, were, uh, It seemed like all the way through, it was always about hugging. Yes. It's kind of yeah. interesting. It was an interesting episode. All right. Are we done? Yeah. All right. I'm going to do the, the business part of it. Uh, follow us on social media. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Look up Orange is the New Black Podcast or Orange Podcast. And uh, we have all that in the show notes, too. It's on our website. You can follow the links in the show notes to get you to any of that. Uh, the Facebook group is definitely working great. A lot of people commenting in there. A lot of more discussion than we've ever had. Keep it coming. I promise you... In one of these last couple episodes here, we are going to roll through those comments and we're going to spend a little time talking about it. And then we'll probably do something where we kind of recap some of that before we go back and do season one, which is something we are working on. So there you go. That's it. I have nothing more to say. I have nothing more to say. Inmates, back to yourself.